back to another week of Bible study. I'm still here by my tree in the Christmas spirit. Hopefully you are as well. Uh, we are going to continue on with stories about Christmas, the birth of Jesus, getting prepared. Last week we talked about preparing the way how John the Baptist was born and what that looked like. And in our story uh, last week, I just want you to remember there was an angel involved in talking uh, to the parent. And so this week, we have two more situations where there are angels involved in our story. So for today's story, you can find it in two spots in your Bible. Uh, you can either go to Matthew chapter 1, verse 18 through 24, or Luke chapter 1, 
verse 26 through 56, okay? So today's story is, is one that talks about, not only remember we had to get the way prepared for Jesus, but now we're going to get into the parents of Jesus. So let's check out a story of their life. Hopefully you know Jesus' parents were Joseph and Mary. So let's see what was going on, because back then, at this point, they were engaged. So one day, God sent the angel Gabriel to visit a young virgin named Mary. She was engaged to be married to Joseph, and the angel told Mary, Rejoice, you have found favor with God. He is with you. And Mary was confused and wondered what the angel meant. So Gabriel said, Don't be afraid. Remember, everybody sees these angels and they're afraid because they get nervous. Because with angels going on, something different. And also, this was very, very um, tricky. She didn't understand what was going on and what he was saying. So the angel spoke to her and said, don't be afraid. They said, God has chosen you to be the mother of a very special baby boy. You will name him Jesus, and he will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. His kingdom will never end. And Mary asked, how can this happen? I'm, I'm not even married yet. You see, for her, obviously, getting married happened before having a baby. And so she said, this, this isn't the right order. And then the angel answered. She said, the Holy Spirit will make it possible. The child will be the son of God. Then the angel told Mary, nothing will be impossible with God. Even your relative Elizabeth is going to have a baby. Does that sound familiar? A little refresher from last week? So Mary said, I understand that I will do what God wants me to do. So she accepted what the angel told her, and she said, I know God's plan, and let's do it. Now, so Mary's just half of the equation. She's mom to Jesus, but Joseph was also involved. He was engaged to Mary, okay, at the time. So when Joseph found out that Mary was going to have a baby, he, he thought, well, this something is definitely wrong. So he decided he was going to secretly break his engagement to her because uh, that wasn't, you know, that wasn't normal. So soon afterward, an angel appeared to him in a dream. And the angel said, Joseph, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife. He said, Mary's baby. So the baby in Mary's belly was from the Holy Spirit, which is God. She said she's having God's baby. Name the baby Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. And we're going to talk about more about that as we go over the next few weeks. But it said this is how God's promise to the prophet Isaiah about the Savior happened. Jesus would be Emmanuel, which means God with us. So remember last week I told you, Jesus' way was getting paved in the Old Testament by the prophet Isaiah, okay? And so now this is coming true. The Old Testament predictions were coming true. So then Joseph awoke, and he did just as the angel said. Joseph and Mary were married. Now we're going to get into more of that story next week, but I want us to look at just a couple things in there. One is they both had an angel come up to them, and they both were a little afraid, Okay. Um, and the angel had him doing some things that were definitely not the normal way. Okay. So when I think about that, I think to myself in Christmas, God probably has some people in mind that he wants us to share, um, about him with. So what I want you to do right now is pause the video and get a pencil and a piece of paper or a marker or a crayon and a piece of paper, and then come back. So. What I want you to do with that is, I want you to write down the names of some people on one side of the paper that you think might need to know either the story about Jesus, some things Jesus did. So some people, I want you to write down the people on one side of the paper that you think might need to know about Jesus, okay? On the other side of the paper, I want you to write down ways that you can share those things with those people okay or when you might ways or when you might want to share so how are you going to do it
Because this Christmas season, it's a great time to talk to people about Jesus and his birth. But we want to make sure we also have our facts right. So, to make sure you remember some of our facts from the story, after you've written down all those things, go ahead and pick back up. And let's take a little quiz on Joseph, Mary, and the angels. eight for eight on those questions. Let's remember to share about Jesus this holiday season and also to commit our verse to memory. Uh, memory verse for this week. Remember, it's not John 3, 16, but John 3, 17. Okay. And if you forgot what it was, take a look at the screen. Here it is up there for you. John 3, 17 says this, for God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. John 3, 17. So keep committing that verse to memory. Hopefully you'll join us for Brick House. We'll see you soon.